Another question I had for you was um, maybe to talk a little bit about the role of leadership in the Manitoba experience. For example, um, uh, how you've reached out to other community leaders outside of Winnipeg? Well, that was the key because my milieu was inside in, with large organizations within the city. And for it to work for Manitoba, I had to really step out of my comfort zone. And so I started asking around and people gave me good advice and I listened, which is totally against my nature. And, and so they led me to the next group, you know, that led me to Sylvie Anantier in the French group, and she's now my co-chair. And then they said, well, I said, how in the world would I organize the North, you know? And they said, you talk to this person called Crystal Colt in Flin Flon. And Flin Flon is a, a town that every single, every single citizen either dances, sings in the choir, or writes, or plays an instrument. And I said, well, how, what, you know, where would you go from Flin Flon? She, oh, she said, I'll go all the way up to Churchill. And she did. In Churchill, there's a choir that sings all Canada in four languages. In Thompson, Manitoba, there's a soprano that has performed in, in, uh, in, in houses in, in Spain and all around Europe, and she lives in Thompson. And, and so we just pl she just plugged us into all these wonderful artistic people, and especially the Aboriginal artists. It's been fabulous. So it's word of mouth going from place to place. And um, and uh, what types of what types of leadership can affect change then? Because it sounds like there's lots of different kind of leaders in your network. And they are, and I think we need it. So on my task force, it's not just the large organizations, although they're the backbone of the con concept when we got it going. We brought in the, uh, the head of um, the uh, Arts uh, Educators Alliance for one whole school division, and she's been instrumental in getting the Minister of Education to plug into Culture Day. Uh, Manitoba Arts and, and Arts and Culture Industries, which I hadn't known about, and are really into training and things. It would really is to open up your mind and broaden your scope and take a leap. And so the task force is a real, real um, potpourri of, of people that are working in the arts and culture industry.